Number five then, from the 2019 Advanced Higher Maths. There we go. The parametric equations, x and y specified independently in terms of the parameter t, which is usually time. Log here with friendly brackets because t is greater than zero. Well, what does it say? Find the first and then the second derivatives. Dy by dx and then the second derivative. Well, all you can find immediately from this is dx by dt. Log, so it's 1 over 2t plus 7 but multiplied by the inner derivative, which is 2, which I could put top, but I'm going to use it again, so I'll just leave it sitting there. And dy by dt, which will just be 2t. I really want dy by dx, so you construct that from dy by dt times dt by dx. Now, dy by dt is 2t, and dt by dx is this upside down. So it's going to be the 2t plus 7 on top, and the two underneath. Simplifying that then is going to be, that cancels out that two, you've got 2t squared plus 7t. And part b was, what's the next derivative? Now, if you want the second derivative of y with respect to x, now that means you have to differentiate dy by dx a second time. However, it's not expressed in terms of this. I'll just spell this out. So it's going to be d by dt of the 2t squared plus 7t times dt by dx. That'll do it. Well, that goes to 4t plus 7, and dt by dx was this again, it was that 2t plus 7 all over 2. Now, unfortunately there's a 7 there, that's going to be a bit of a pest. I'll just take that half out of it then, and then just multiply out this little quadratic. So I've got 8t squared, and that's 42t plus 49. Well, I just leave it like that. That would do. Could almost put an alternative, which would be 40 squared plus 21t plus 49 upon 2.